In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on April 10, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Washington Nationals vs. Los Angeles Angels The 2023 Major League Baseball season is opening the third week of the 2023 season when the Washington Nationals travel to take on the Los Angeles Angels in this interleague battle at Angel Stadium in Anaheim, California. These teams faced each other three times last season in Anaheim, with the Angels winning two of the three games. The teams combined for 11 runs each in the three-game set. Washington is 29-66 in their last 95 games overall and 4-10 in their their last 14 Monday games while the under is 5-1-2 in their last 8 series opening games. Los Angeles is 5-2 in their last 7 games overall and 3-8 in their last 11 games against the National League East while the under is 6-1 in their last 7 games against a team with a left-handed starter. The Angels come into a great spot to bounce back in after narrowly falling in a high-scoring affair with Toronto. Patrick Corbin has shown little resistance since landing in D.C. and Los Angeles should find minimal trouble producing against them. Jose Suarez wasn't great in his debut, but luckily, he doesn't have to be great here with the dumpster fire that is Patrick Corbin on the other side. Corbin was far worse on the road last season and I don't see him improving here against a lineup that has tons of pop and generated a lot of offense in their past series against Toronto this past weekend. Look for the Angels to take out some frustration on the Nationals and Patrick Corbin here. Washington's lineup is uninspiring. Lean on the Angels to flex their muscles here. So the Los Angeles Angels to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Two starters squaring off who have been hammered early on. A Washington bullpen that is absolutely terrible and a Los Angeles bullpen that yielded seven runs on Sunday. Washington scored 23 runs in their four-game set against Colorado and the Angels scored 23 in three games against the Blue Jays. Washington has gone over in four of their last six and four of their last five on the road. Los Angeles has gone over in four of their last six interleague games and has gone over in 22 of their last 33 interleague games at home. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Milwaukee Brewers vs. Arizona Diamondbacks The Arizona Diamondbacks will host the Milwaukee Brewers in the first matchup of a three-game series on Monday. Both of these teams are riding high. The Diamondbacks won their last three games against the Los Angeles Dodgers, and the Brewers have won seven of their previous eight games. The Brewers are 5-1 in their last six Monday games and 5-2 in their last seven road games. The over is 4-1 in Milwaukee's last five Monday games. Meanwhile, the Diamondbacks are 2-5 in their last seven at home versus a lefty starter and 1-10 in their last 11 in Game 1 of a series. Arizona is 0-4 in their last four Monday games. Arizona is coming off of a very impressive series win against the Dodgers, but they have really struggled in the first game of a series dating back to late last year. Milwaukee has been very good to start this season and is coming off of a series wins against the Mets and the Cardinals. Wade Miley really surprised me in his first start against the Mets, while Zach Gallen struggled against the Padres and the Dodgers. Miley did a good job in his first first start of the season on April 4th, guiding the team to a 9-0 win over the Mets. If Miley is on point here, he shouldn't have too much trouble with the Arizona lineup while he's out there. On Sunday, the Brewers scored multiple runs in both the third and seventh innings on the way to the victory. Willie Adams and Christian Yelich combined for six hits, four runs, and four RBI to carry the offense. Another effort anywhere close to that should be plenty for a victory here. So the Milwaukee Brewers' money line is our full game side pick. Zach Gallen finished fourth in the National League Cy Young voting last season, and I fully expect him to bounce back from a mediocre first start. I also expect Wade Miley to be up for the task, knowing that runs could be at a premium. The under is 6-2 in Milwaukee's last eight road games, and the under is also 15-5-1 in Arizona's last 21 games against a team with a winning percentage above .600. Los Angeles Dodgers vs. San Francisco Giants Los Angeles will try to bounce back from a disappointing series in Arizona when it travels to San Francisco for a series opener on Monday night. 
The Dodgers lost the final three games of their series against the Diamondbacks, falling to .500 overall through their first 10 games of the season. San Francisco snapped a two-game losing skit with a 3-1 win over Kansas City on Sunday. The Los Angeles Dodgers have scored 17 runs in their last three games and four or more runs in seven of their 10 games. The Dodgers are 5-2 this season when scoring four or more runs. Freddie Freeman leads the Dodgers with 16 hits and 2 RBI, while J.D. Martinez and Will Smith have combined for 21 hits and 20 RBI. Julio Urias gets the ball, and he is 2-0 with a 1.5 earned run average and 12 strikeouts this season. Urias is 6-4 with a 2.12 earned run average and 111 strikeouts in his career against the Giants. The San Francisco Giants have scored 9 runs in their last 3 games and 3 or fewer runs in 5 of their 9 games. The Giants are 1-4 this season when scoring scoring three or fewer runs. Tyro Estrada leads the Giants with 12 hits and 4 RBI, while Michael Conforto and J.D. Davis have combined for 17 hits and 12 RBI. Logan Webb gets the ball, and he is 0-2 with a 6.55 earned run average and 16 strikeouts this season. Webb is 2-4 with a 4.44 earned run average and 40 strikeouts in his career against the Dodgers. Dodgers are 22-5 in Uriah's last 27 starts following a quality start in his last appearance. Dodgers are 8 to two in their last 10 road games versus a team with a home winning percentage of less than .400. Giants are 1-5 in Webb's last six starts following a team loss in their previous game. Giants are 1-4 in their last five home games versus a team with a winning record. Giants are 1-4 in Webb's last five starts versus a team with a winning record. The Dodgers and Giants renew their rivalry on Monday night, opening a three-game set. Both teams are sending good pitchers to the mound in Julio Urias and Logan Webb. Neither team is off to a great start on the season, with the Dodgers struggling in their eight games against the Diamondbacks to start the season, and the Giants losing two of three at home to the Royals over the weekend. The problem for the Dodgers so far has been starting pitching. The back end of their rotation is awful. Fortunately for Los Angeles, the rotation flips over to Julio Urias, and he has been fantastic to start the season. He gave up two runs in the opener against Arizona, then he blanked the Rockies. He even struck out six in each game, and he is usually more of a pitch to weak contact pitcher. With the Giants' offense struggling in most games so far this season, Urias should cruise. The Dodgers, on the other hand, have been able to score for the most part, and Logan Webb has not exactly been sharp. In fact, I am not convinced he will be a true ace again, and lots of metrics are skeptical of him. I am as well. I think the Dodgers should knock him out early in this one. I think between the Dodgers having Urias on Monday night and the bats getting going early, the boys in blue should win this one comfortably. You can stick with the money line and be safer, but I feel good about catching plus money on the run line tonight. So the Los Angeles Dodgers money line is our full game side pick. Urias should hold the Giants scoreless for several innings, but a shutout performance would be surprising. It is the other matchup that I am really concerned about, though, as Webb has looked terrible through his first two starts. He has allowed four earned runs in two appearances this season and is facing a Los Angeles lineup that has scored 14 combined runs in its last two games. San Francisco has now gone over the total in 12 of its last 17 games dating back to last season, and I expect that trend to continue on Monday. Over the projected total is our full game total total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.